Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Kill Room. I, it just popped up out of nowhere. I didn't even have this on my list. Just found it. Like, wow, okay. You know, so um, it's about a hitman, uh, his boss, an art dealer, and a money laundering scheme that actually turns an assassin into an overnight sensation. And they have to play the art world versus the underworld kind of thing. I don't know, right? But uh, it's only 5.4 on IMDb. 1,204 people only rated it so far. So Samuel L. Jackson's in it. Maya Hawk, Uma Thurman. Aren't they? I know Maya Hawk is Ethan Hawk's daughter. Isn't it from Uma Thurman? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm. I, I, but I know she's um, Ethan Hawk's daughter. But is that where the mother is? I forget. But Uma Thurman's in it. Joe Magnalelio, uh, Debbie Mazar. If you've seen Entourage, she's the publicist. Um, so that's all I recognize at the moment. Actually, I recognize some of these other people, but not the names. But anyway, it's like an hour and 38 minutes. So let's see. Stick around. This could be a good find, or it could have been a waste of time. Stick around. I'll let you know. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits of The Kill Room. Not quite sure I get that. I mean, I get the kill part, right? But Huh, I don't know if there's not one dead. Oh, I get it. Sorry. <laughs> Woo. If you watch this, then you'll come back and laugh at this. Then, after you watch my review, if you've seen the movie, I'm like an idiot. Um, but anyway, I actually just jump out real quick. I, I thought it was pretty good. Now, there were times, this is interesting. This is, you know, how I always relate, or maybe you don't. Sometimes, if I'm not interested or it's boring, I move to my phone right and, and I'll start looking at the phone for different things um, and that really tells me how good the movie is or not well I'll be honest there are parts tonight where I was picking up my phone however I realized I'm missing portions of the movie and was immediately putting it back down so I don't know what that tells you that there there are maybe some slow parts or some uninteresting parts or predictable parts that maybe either become interesting or less predictable while they're happening um so that that's the first time that that has really happened normally i get lost and you know you come back to the movie you really didn't miss anything in this case i, I don't know um it's a it's a original concept i think it does and i think they did a good job of the storytelling and enough enough character development for some of them i think you want to learn more about others I think Uma Thurman's character is well developed. She is the art gallery owner um, who's struggling. Um, Maya Hawk, her daughter, I looked it up to it is her daughter, uh, plays an artist at her um, art gallery. So it's very limited role, um, but she's in it. So that's kind of cool. Um, Magniglio, um, what, is, uh, what is his name? You know who I mean. That guy uh, who we all love. He is... Um, course in it and he is the uh, Joe Joe is the assassin and Samuel L. Jackson is essentially his boss well, they work for like the mob um, so there's an upper boss Samuel L. Jackson is just like a middle guy but he runs Joe and so what they decide to do and this was fun finding this out so if you, I mean it's not a spoiler alert but um, it's a little bit more in depth of the plot how they all get connected um, so if you don't want to hear that whatever it's not going to ruin the ending of the movie but it does it's something that i didn't realize from imdb that i realized while watching the movie so there you go um but basically they're looking to launder the money so samuel L. jackson has joe's character which i think his name was reggie paint and then um she he would give it to uma thurman who would then sell the painting right so laundering the money that way right and and right from that and then and there and i don't want to put down art and people who like art and everything like that i know for me like there's things that i like right um art i think you know different all different kinds of art but when you're talking about paintings and there's certain paintings that i'll be like wow you know that, that looks really cool that looks you know but then there's paintings that i'll say like why is this art you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't have that. I don't know. That's just me. And you know? other people can look at a painting and be like, wow, I get it, you know. But some of them just don't look like, I don't know. 
So that's why I kind of laughed at it because sometimes I think they people could do actually this because you could just make art expensive, right? So Joe paints a painting, Uma Thurman does her job of selling it, and it's just you know what I mean. Like and and then so it it makes him now it comes out that maybe he does have an artist inside of him. Maybe he has that uh, ability, that skill, um, and but you know really they were faking it you know and they were just like you draw something we'll put it out there we'll make it a big sale and he became a big artist and so i kind of laughed at that just because of my opinion sometimes of certain art pieces um that i look at and it's like okay i don't understand why everybody really values this one maybe over something else that i really like so you know whatever um i don't want to go down that rabbit hole but i found that funny so if you're an art person you might get maybe upset at that um, so I apologize. I'm not trying to offend anybody to each their own. I play fake fantasy football, so you make fun of me about that kind of stuff. I don't even play it. I pick players that play for me. So, I have enough. Um, but anyway, so that, that cracked me up, and that's how, that's, that's what brings them all together. So, of course, you know, the mob, all that kind of stuff goes into it, and, and, and the story continues on from there, and that's, um, and, and I found I, I enjoyed it, and I thought that was really cool. There's certain things that I, that I liked that they did, um, and I, I don't want to share that for you. There's one piece, um, but it, it really becomes an intriguing story. Um, it's nothing earth-shattering, but I, I pretty much stayed interested the whole time. Besides, I tell you, we're going on the phone and be like, "No, I got to see what happens. No, what's going on here?" Because it, it you know, it picks up pace. It, you know, it drags along for a little bit, but then it, it picks right up, and uh, I don't know. I, I thought it was interesting. It's an interesting um, look at the art industry and, and art dealers and art enthusiasts and collectors and all that kind of stuff. So um, it might not be for those people who are interested in in that um, line of work, I guess. But I thought it was interesting, funny at times. And I thought the three of them did pretty good. So, so like I said, I will say a little bit more. Um, I am going to not spoil the ending, but spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Again, I'm not going to spoil the ending. But one of the things they really stayed away from, which I found even better, was, is it cliche or whatever? Uma Thurman and Joe, right, the, the, the artist and the art dealer, they're spending a lot of time together. They know what's going on. They get into each other's personal lives. So what do you expect is going to happen, right? There's going to be maybe a budding romance. And I thought it was great that they didn't they didn't take that path. And, you know, because that's, that's what happens all the time, whether it's cliche or whatever. Um, they, they avoided that. And uh, they had a, a pretty interesting ending. And the way they pulled it off, I liked it. So, there you go. Again, not for everybody, but it was uh, something I wasn't even planning on watching. I ended up watching, and I enjoyed it. So, hopefully I'm helpful. If not, I apologize. I <laughs> don't mean to offend anybody who's in the art. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.